mountains. There's Chloe. She makes she makes all your moms look look thin. Nice. <laughs> Me and Chloe have accidentally uh, gone from the Moses Cone house and stumbled into the Winnie the Pooh hundred acre woods down there. We're on our way to the cemetery part of the park, which we felt would be a good spot to go because we try to pick places that aren't often traveled. And I honestly think that the cemetery is probably not the most popular part of this area. Um, there is a wagon trail and horse trail. So uh, that's probably where they go. And the observation tower is past the cemetery. But we're hoping to make it to the Blowing Rock today. Um, if I make it into separate videos, I'll put a link to that video. But we're hoping the Blowing Rock will be pretty observational. The clouds moved. And that mountain appeared. <laughs> You're like, whoa, where did that come from? <laughs> it was crazy. Beautiful. It's the Blue Ridge Mountains, which uh, are called blue because they appear blue from a distance, which you guys can tell on the, uh, on the camera right there. They appear as a part of the sky, just a darkened area. And it's just north of the Smoky Mountains and west of the Sorrowtown Mountains. Beautiful, look at that mountain appearing as the clouds part. I can't wait to see the sunbeams on it. Me and Chloe did a little bit of extra research and legwork on the uh, Blue Ridge. Thanks Chloe for doing the research. <laughs> <It's my laughs> but job. it is her job. Look at those flowers. But um, the plants here release a chemical called isoprene, which is, which is a hydrocarbon that they release to protect them from harsh sunlight which is pretty cool because typically you don't imagine plants needing protection from sunlight. But I suppose the species on the Blue Ridge section of the Appalachians can't handle particularly intense sunlight, which is kind of neat. Okay, we're at the Moses Cone House. A uh, wealthy textile guy. It's probably right here. <laughs> oh, the information's right here. I'll read it to you guys while I show you the view. The house is under renovation right now, but it looks beautiful. Here, here, here's a picture of it. There, there you go. That's what it looks like when it's not under renovation. There, there you go. That's what it looks like when it's not under renovation. And, uh, and it, 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 yeah, I got it. I got it right. I got the information right when I set it off the top of my head. <laughs> Moses Cone's house was donated to the Park Service and it was um, gifted because he was a conservationist and he was a wealthy textile merchant. He made his fortunes in North Carolina, which is a major textile hub even today, although it's gone down over the years. We have emerged from a wooded grotto and we have found the cemetery. And I think this tree is beautiful. It's covered in lichen and it's very characteristic of a cemetery. We're, we're on the land and in the house of the people who once lived here and were so gracious to share this place with us. This is Moses Cone Cemetery. There's, let's see here. the beloved sister of Moses H. Cone, and the grass is a little high on Sophie Lindau. And then the big one is Bertha Lindau Joan Cone, and then Moses H. Cone. They're buried here. There's another lichen-covered set of trees. I think it's very interesting that this is around the cemetery, you know? Because this is, I, I haven't shown you guys the woods that we had to hike through to get to this spot. But there's not like lichen covered trees like that. Look how beautiful this is though. The guy was so nice to, well the family was so nice to share this with us. Look at that. It's all hiking grounds. And there's an observation tower about a mile point seven ahead of us. But we will not be heading towards that because we have blowing rock ahead. There's a stallion down there <laughs> and a horse. <laughs> Here we are at the blowing rock. It's uh, nine bucks to enter. I like how the logo is just a mother throwing her child 
off, or I guess it's like a lady and a dude throw at each other off. For some reason we can't seem to <laughs> get a day where it's clear. Every single one of these hiking trips where we're in the mountains, it's very cloudy. But, uh, Remember? Yeah, it's the it's the vapor and the, the isoprene. But you guys can see that it extends pretty far out. <laughs> it's very beautiful. And there's a house up there. It's literally on a house drive, like this is just at the end of a road. Yeah, we gotta climb at our own risk, but this we're on the blowing rock here. And uh, they said that it says that it's called the blowing rock because it's windy up here. And uh, yeah, I feel a little breeze. I'm sure it gets windier. Oh yeah, the higher you get, really, it really gets quite quite breezy. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of mountains. You guys, if you really squint or have your brightness up, you'll see them through the through the clouds. I'm gonna stand up. It's really slippery because a lot of people have been up here. Oh <laughs> dang. Yeah. Ice cream shop up here. We already got ice cream. You guys saw it. The, see, actually, in the reflection, you guys can see the mountains better. <laughs> That's kind of neat. I'll be sure to use that. See how much taller I am. Yeah. But yeah, it's like it. It's too bright for. Oh no! It's showing up now. The camera adjusted. There we go. That's much better. Yeah, we're in the Blue Ridge Mountains right now. This is what they look like. You can kind of see. There's a bit of a raised elevation right there, where it meets the clouds. It actually. I think it might be Mount Mitchell. Mount Mitchell up there. And it goes over. I gotta be sure to trace it. I don't know if it's showing up for the... Yeah, it's it's about the same spot on the camera. It's pretty high up there. I didn't really think of it. There's Chloe. <laughs> Ooh, I like these power lines. <laughs> Look at that. You guys can kind of see it. It's the wild Carolina power lines. And there is a bird camouflaged in a bunch of gravel. Look at it hopping around. It's a little dinosaur. Bunch of turtles. Look at that. Nice flowers. There's a little uh, yeah, fountain the over there. I, <laughs> I bet I could jump and grab that power line. How much you to bet, Chloe? Alright everybody, we're back from the blowing rock itself. Um, we're on our way to back to the village. Uh, if you guys come here, the drive is beautiful, the village is nice, uh, parking's a little thing, a little bit of a pain, man, it gets crowded. The Moses Cone Park was nicer, personally. Um, and it's, the Moses Cone Park's free. It's got miles and miles of park, and there's the old house, it's got history, and you can walk around the Blowing Rock Town, which I highly recommend. There's a lot of, the, I was kind of turned off at first because of the how crowded it was and I like to go places that are a little more I like unused but the people there are so nice and I met a nice guy who was handing out ice cream uh, shout out to that guy <laughs> hope things go well for you buddy also it's good if you just drive around because you'll get a lot of amazing views if you just drive around yeah. and stay in your car yeah it's on the Blue Ridge Parkway which is one of the most beautiful roads in the country yeah, so you don't have to spend three bucks to look off of... Nine bucks. <laughs> not, oh my gosh. Uh, nine bucks to see an amazing view. You can just drive around and you can get a cute little town. Yeah. It, I, I recommend the town. Definitely but, come during fall, though. Yeah. Fall is going to be a little... It's the, it's the on-season, and you guys saw how crowded it was during the off-season of the summer. But it's going to be... It would be beautiful. I can definitely tell. Um, personally, I will probably be going to... Uh, what's it called? Waynesville. Because it's a little less crowded, as far as I'm aware. And it's still the Appalachia, Appalachians during the um, fall time. And it's just near, right near Max Patch, which is a destination we'll be going to in the future. Be sure to like, subscribe, no. comment your thoughts. No. Let me know what you thought of the video. If you want more, subscribe because I plan on doing a lot more of these hiking videos. We're going on adventures together, people. I really enjoy it and people seem to like it too, so why stop now? Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share if you know people who would enjoy this because I need the growth. Bye-bye everybody. I love you.